Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use different types of filament as support so that it can be very easily removed just like this. Let's scratch to this topic. There have been a couple questions asking, is there a way that we can use different types of filaments like this one as supports for your 3D printing? Some filaments don't stick well to other filaments as for this example right here. The orange is PLA and the transparent white here is PETG. So PETG and PLA doesn't really stick well together. And as you saw there, it was very, very easily removable from this PLA part. And look at this, the overhang part look very, very clean and good. If you do PLA on PLA, sometimes the materials bond quite well together and it's very hard to remove. And it also leaves lots of residue on your 3D printed part. You gotta use some sharp tools to um, just get all of those out or some snippet tool and snip all those out. But by doing this way, using PTG or other types of filament as supports, you can easily remove just like this and have a really clean print just like this. Specifically design these parts like this so that it has support at every angle. If you print it like this, you need to support here. If you print it like this, you need to support both sides here, like this, support here. Every single direction that you can orientate this thing into, you need support. And that's just this small example of pieces here, but you get the idea here, right? Well, enough talking, I'm gonna go show you on any cubic slicers next, how you can do this on your Cobra 3 on, and on the slicer itself. On Orca slicer, it's gonna be very similar because any cubic slicer next is based off of Orca slicer. But before we do that, I'm gonna try remove this PTG PLA support and see if it's easily accessible as the other one so oh yeah look at that with just a little bit of force with my fingernails it can be very easily removable and if i try and take the brim off of the pla it's gonna be sticking very well and it won't come clean and uh, yeah there we go there are some downfalls and i will talk about that after i show you how to do it on any cubic slicers next okay so now we are in any cubic slicers next and i will show the same process in orca slicer i just loaded my two filament testers piece here and i'm going to be using this as a support right here so the first thing that you need to do is go to the filament at the top left here click on add one filament and change this to whatever filament you are using. For me, I'm gonna be using PGG for this example. Change the color by pressing on the number two and the yellow box here. It indicates the color of what you have. So change the color to whatever you have on your Ace Pro. So for me, I'm just gonna do white. Then the other one will be orange. Now that we have that set up, we're gonna be clicking on the parts right here. Go to the top toolbar, click support painting. And then let's look at the overhang, which is this part right here. But on the tool types, I'm gonna be using fill on overhangs only. And then highlight overhangs, I'm gonna be putting at 45 degree right here. And now it highlights the overhang part. So we can just click that and now it's fill, it's painted for support. Let's go ahead and go back by clicking escape. So we had the parts painted and let's click slice plate. And would you look at that? It works. Let's change the key right here. So I'm going to put a line type into a filament. And look at this. It's all orange. So it's not working yet. Let's go back to prepare. So this is a crucial setting that you want to change. You want to go to support tab right here. For me, I enable support. The type I put at tree manual. Because I like to do support manually, I just leave everything pretty much default. And we come down to this part right here filament for support there's two options here one is a support raft base the other one is a support raft interface so these two are on by default on the options default you will want to change this if you are using two so if we click on the default here it will put the options of default pla ptg so let's pick ptg for this first one right here support raft base so we're going to click slice and look at this. The support is now PTG. But if you look at this, this part right here is the interface of the supports down here and the 3D printed parts. So it's not really viable if you do this. The 
support will come off very easily but this the actual support that has interaction with the part will not come off so let's go back and fix that let's go to prepare again i'm now going to be changing the support slash ref interface into petg click slice plate again and look at that the ref interface now is petg which has contact with the support and the model itself so this is what you pretty much want the interface layer to have contact with this so that it can come off very cleanly and it will generate you a prime tower over here so that you can prime and then do your printing but if we look at the total time right here it's gonna take about one hour and 49 minute in total for this piece right here so let's go back one more time we are just gonna be putting these back into default and then click slice plate it's gonna take us 42 minute 25 seconds just to print this using PLA but that's not what you wanted right you want to use two types of filament you want to use a different type of filament as support so the best way I found to do it is to leave the support ref base as default or if you want to you can just pick PLA and then the support ref interface you want to change that to PETG why because let's click slice space right now and look at that the base here is PLA but the interface that touches the 3D model parts and the support is PETG and if you look at the total time right here it's only 51 minute so it's only about like an 8 to 9 minute increase from printing everything in PLA so this is very good you don't need all the trees to be PETG because it doesn't really matter that's not touching your 3D model. The RAF interface is the most important part. So that is going to be PGG. And then this is going to be PLA. The support tree is going to be PLA. And you do have a prime tower, but you only use it one, two, two layers of PTG. So you only do filament change only four times. And it will save you filament. It will save you lots and lots of time. So now that we have this thing set up, I'm going to be clicking remote print and make sure okay my my cobra 3 is not on right now but make sure you have this set up on your cobra 3 for my setup i have one two three as pla filament and then my fourth one i put in ptg and you need to change that in your 3d printer selecting the four filament as ptg or else it will not allow you to print so you need to set it to that okay on my ace pro i have slots one two and three as pla and my slot four ptg because it will only allow you to print the same types of filament that you have on your ace pro with the same types of filament that you have chosen in the slicers so make sure both of them matches and then you can just start printing now we are in workout slicer and i think it's going to be very similar i'm going to be painting this at a 45 degree overhang that and then go to support i have the same thing pla and then ptg so now we are in the support and yeah it has exactly the same setting support ref base support ref interface so like before let's change the interface to petg and now we can click slice plate and look at that the tree support is pla the interface or the layers between the model and the support is PETG and look at this workout slicer time is only 28 minute wow that is so much faster I'm not quite sure why it's only 28 minute but wow I did not realize that you see what 28 minute compared to 51 minute wow okay I have pretty much the same setting but hey workout slicer is still domination but yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial right here. Hopefully, you will be able to do it. So as you saw there, by using another type of filament as supports, it also increased the time for your 3D printed parts. But the positive side is that it is very easily removable and it gives you very clean prints just like that. 
You won't even really know that this part is printed using support. It just looks that good. That'll be it for this video of me showing you how to use different types of filament as supports and show you on any cubic slicer snacks on how to configure this to the best as to the best possible. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.